And so some of them were trying to think that we still need to hang on to the law. But here the writer of Hebrews is going to be pointing out that, wait a minute, we have the one perfect sacrifice and his name is Jesus Christ. There's no one greater. We don't need Jesus plus something else. We don't need Jesus minus something else. It is simply that we need Jesus. He is the high priest. He draws it into ancient history, which we all know about, because he spoke of the first Adam, who was the man who was created in perfection but failed to sin. But Jesus is the second Adam, and he didn't fall to sin. He died on the cross for all sin of the world. And so the writer of Hebrews, he gets into some deep theology here, but as I read it, some of the uh, words that just jumped off the pages to me here in chapter 2 this last week really began to give me a picture of three distinct things of, about our lives. If you look at the title, we're going to talk about one great need tonight. We're going to talk about one great fear tonight, and we're going to talk about one great challenge. And I don't want to sit there and tell you that, wait a minute, this is the sermon of all sermons. I just want to tell you that, though, this is wrapped up. If you get those three things down tonight, you've got it. 